Hi. Hi. Thanks so much for talking to me today. I appreciate it. Of course. It. How you doing? Good, good. So I, I enjoyed the first five episodes that we've seen so far. Um, can you talk a bit about at the beginning of the season where Bennett is at now that Melody is gone, kind of his headspace and how he's feeling? Firstly, I'm really jealous because I didn't get to see five episodes yet. <laughs> what is going on? Um, yeah, so it's obviously a, a very difficult um, difficult season for Bennett. I think he's dealing with a lot of emotions, frustrations, um, trying to process the loss of Melanie, the fact that she's not on the train. Um, and as as difficult as that is for him, I think it's a, a great driving force and motivation for him to complete the mission that Melanie set out um, and started when she left the train in, in the in the second season. And um, I don't think it's very straightforward for him. I think a lot of people aren't on the same page as him and people are not essentially 100% about the science and whether it's real or not. Um, so it's difficult. I think another great thing for him, um, you know, as a motivation is, uh, is, you know, just kind of like mucking in this year. He He's sharing his usual space that he's usually kind of alone in with loads of different characters. And I think that's very, even though it's difficult, I think he kind of thrives on that kind of human interaction. Um, and we get to see him interacting with very different people this year. Yeah, um, I was going to say he gets closer to a particular character. We'll just tease that. Um, is that maybe just loneliness or is he connecting more to other people now that Melanie's gone? Um, I think I think that, you know, his mission's always been to keep the train moving, complete the experiment, save humanity, um, things that mirror everything that... Um, you know, Melanie stood for, um, but he is just interacting with different people, you know, for a specific reason. Like we, what happened at the end of last season kind of ends him in this engine with different characters that he doesn't usually get to interact with. Um, but I think, I think what you're talking about, the, 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 the thing that you, yeah. yeah, I think, I think that it is, it's not anything other than, you know, yeah. like sheer loneliness, you know? All right. That makes sense. Um, so do you feel that maybe he feels sort of a fatherly, I guess, role now towards Alex? Um, yeah, I think that there is a, a natural guardian uh, um, element there that kind of subconsciously slides in it to work. Um and uh, and that, that was great. And, you know, you can see I'm watching the show that she's like Alex like doesn't need a guardian. Like she's a badass <laughs> in her own right. Um, and and, you know, Rowan Blanchard's fantastic. Um, uh, but there is, you know, I think it maybe starts as that, but it, it becomes this kind of like connection with a character, you know, that you that you share because there is this greater connection that they both have to Melanie. And I think that's really, I think that's really cool that they tapped into that. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Of course. Looking thank forward you. to seeing more. Okay. Thanks. thanks. I'm looking forward to seeing some. <laughs> yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Cheers. Bye, Jamie.